let's go right there again. Uh, <laughs> Christian McCaffrey, I'm sure you've heard about it by now. Yeah. Uh, you've made a decision. I mean, mm -hmm. does that make you pause and think about, you know, whether you should play or not? No. No. I, I, I'm, I'm cherishing this last moment that I have with this team because we all have been through a lot uh, over this past couple of years and especially this season. So, um, me personally, I wouldn't pass up an opportunity to play with my brothers one last time. The fact that he's not going to be playing, defending them, how does that change things? Um, it doesn't change it a lot. I mean, you know, he is an electric player, but um, the guy they have behind him, he's just as electric. And um, he's actually from this area, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it'll be uh, kind of cool to prepare for him as well. He may be pretty motivated to play. Yeah, exactly. He, uh, he exactly. actually picked Stanford over Carolina as a response to schools a couple years ago. Yeah, well, uh, well, I'm pretty sure he'll be hyped to play us, and uh, we'll be excited to see him as well. Uh, how much of a relief is it? You see guys like Elijah and Jay and Mitch going through this process where they're kind of feeling things out about the draft. You've made your decision to, to have made it and to go forward knowing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a big weight off my shoulders um, just because now I can just go with everything that we have and everything's kind of in a schedule about, you know, what I have next. So um, not having that decision to be uh, to be made yet, um, it's just it's just a weight off my shoulder because you know, I made mine already. Has, has Mitch, have you guys had a conversation where you just maybe picked your brain a little bit about, not, not about what he should do, but about what you did in terms of coming to that decision? Um, I mean, we sat down and we discussed things like what to consider, who to consider, um, you know, projections and all that kind of stuff. But his situation is completely different from mine. Um, you know, his he has a lot of talk about being a first pick, first top ten pick, and all that kind of stuff. I'm not necessarily in that category, so he, he, I think he has a lot of different things to um, to uh, think about I mean, a little bit more so than me. How much did the concussions and what you dealt with in high school? Uh, not a lot because man, it's football. I mean, people are gonna get hurt. You can't really control it. You just kind of gotta deal with it. Um, but you know, I, I don't, I don't really pay attention to stuff like that. So what was the determining factor? To it was really more a decision for my family because, um, you know, I think my family's been through a lot lately, and and it's just, it's just, it's, it'll be a good transition for them to um, be able to help them out, and you know get my mom out the projects and things like that. Different things that I've been wanting to do for her and my, my little sister since, you know, I started playing ball. So now that I have this opportunity, I can't let it go away. Do you know what your post bowl game schedule is going to be that, you know, the end of the haste throughout January and before? Now? Yeah, well, I don't know a lot of it, but I know pretty much, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll come back here. I'll sign with an agent and then pretty much, you know, two or three days later, I'll be off to a train somewhere. Uh, which that location hasn't been decided yet. Have you been approached by like the, the Senior Bowl East West game, one of those All Star games, to, to get into that? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't know if I was even eligible right, for yeah, that kind of thing because um, you know I have a fifth year and all that kind of stuff. So, what what feedback did you, have you gotten from people of the NFL that kind of telling you maybe where you might go and? Well, it's really kind of a toss up because I've heard a lot of different things. I've heard, you know, rounds three to five. I've heard, you know, earlier. I've heard later. So it's kind of, you know, we really won't know until we know. And um, that's kind of the thing that's kind of, you know, sucky about it. You wish you kind of know exactly where you would go so the decision can be easier. But um, from what I've heard from scouts and stuff, they love my versatility and uh, the way I run and play the game. And, and those, those are all things that I pride myself in. So. I'm, I'm glad that they like those kind of things. With, with character and people skills, which you clearly have, all those kind of things being factors as well, do you think you can enhance your stock once you, the bowl game comes and goes and you start you know, speaking with teams? And yeah. Process yeah, I'm that? definitely uh, hoping to skip a couple guys in, in the draft boards uh, when it comes to uh, interview time, combine time, and all those different things like that because um, you know, people don't really know you. They just know from what they see on film. So I think uh, a lot of scouts and teams will get a better feel for me when they see me in person. You talked about the process as far as coming back and signing with the agent after the, the bowl game and how much you want to play in that bowl game, mm -hmm. one last college game for you. How much of a challenge uh, is it for you now that you announced that you will make yourself eligible to be in that draft mm -hmm. to still stay away from kind of like those sharky waters where, you know, agents might be coming at you left and right away yeah. and cost you that last Really, how much of a challenge is it once you announce that you are? Um, it's it's a little bit of a challenge, but you know it's all about not tripping at the finish line. I've I've done nothing but good things for my my four years here, so you know waiting another week or two, you know to talk to a guy or to 
you know, talk about endorsements and stuff, it won't it won't kill me just to wait a couple more weeks. So um it's been a long process, but you know, it's not over just yet. Um, some people, you know, uh, try to get into the agent process and, uh, you know, ask me things like that. But, you know, every our, our policy here is uh, set in stone. So um, anytime I get a message like that, I always send them to Paul Pogge and uh, everybody on the teams to know anytime an agent uh, contacts you to send them to Paul. So um, I just kind of been going with that protocol and, you know, trying not to uh, trip at the finish line before I get out of here. I asked Coach Fedor about the, uh, the chemistry and he mm -hmm. said, you know, I asked him, you know, when y'all went to the quit lane bowl mm -hmm. and when you came out, very, very, pretty toxic mm -hmm. environment. What was it about the chemistry fix after that? He says, y'all are not going to this game where if you lose it, it's going to be a bad situation for the team. Um, I think it's just everybody wanting to do well and everybody want to finish strong and finish want to know because we've had a rocky year and we, you know, this is, playing in this game wasn't necessarily a goal of ours. We had bigger aspirations. so. Um, as a matter of fact, just finishing this game on a positive note, this season on a positive note, is, is the biggest goal of them all. Uh, side note, I see you're still sporting the ball. I like it. I like it. I'm keeping it. I, I, my mom is not a big fan of it, but she'll be all right. Is Bruno Jones still the guy? Or? No, I actually learned to do it myself. Actually, I've asked every ball head man I've seen walk through here about you know what he does and all these different kind of things. And it's just been a fun process, but I, I think I like it, and I'm probably going to keep it. Maybe every two or three days, you know, my hair grows pretty fast. Daryl, our video guy, he only does it once a week, and he's my favorite bald head person, so I had to ask him. Is there an adjustment that used to help it be on with the, with the bald head? No, because I didn't, have a, I didn't have a lot of hair from the, from the get-go, so it wasn't really um, a, a lot of change in or anything. I put a little air in it, but that's about it. Does girls, every girls, week? Like it? Hmm? girls like it? I've had some positive feedback from the females. But uh, it's more about me being comfortable more than, you know, attracting females. It's easier to get out of the house in the morning. It does. It is very quick. You don't have to worry about anything. You just throw your clothes on and go. I love it. Every week when a uh, former Tar Heel in the NFL is, has a buy, they're back on the sideline mm -hmm. because they invest in the program. Do you anticipate being a guy like that? What absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I was a fan of this uh, university before I, even, uh, before I was even here. So. You can definitely uh, plan on seeing me at football games, basketball games, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, whenever I have a chance to get back to support these guys. And it's your last game, but how are you personally invested in seeing this program win against Stanford and then build into the future? Yeah, we have to. That, that's the biggest, that's the only goal for this team right now is to finish 1-0. and So uh, for, to finish this year on a good note and get ready to prepare for the, uh, the next season, uh, that's, that's all I'm really uh, worried about. You know, I know the guys that take care of the team. We have some good leaders that's going to still be here. So um, that's the least of my worries. So, you know, how would you grade the uh, defensive effort this year in terms of what you do good, what needs to grow, what needs to get better with this program? Um, we definitely can do better with execution and tackling. Um, we've, we've made strides all year, and we had a really good uh, part of the year where we were playing really well. And we just kind of got away from that. And, uh, you know, we were ascending defense, doing good. But now it's kind of get back to those bases because I think we kind of got away from that in the Eno. That's kind of how you see, you know, us lose two rivalry games like that. You know, for you to still talk about, you know, coming back to the team after you go pro and all that kind of stuff, that sounds like even though you made your decision, that the coaches haven't sort of said, well, he's he's a has man, he's he's not with us anymore. Oh. That's, that's still love. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's no. Uh, hard feelings with anybody. Everybody knows this is a business from their standpoint to our standpoint. When you once you come of age and you know you get in that process, so uh, yeah, it was definitely no hard feelings. Everybody is absolutely proud of me, excited for me, and all the things that I could do in the league. So yeah, I've had I've had no negativity about it. When did you make that decision? Uh, I want to say like the day before um, I tweeted. I think it was last Thursday, and I tweeted it on Friday. Uh, my mom was down here uh, for a couple of days and we sat down and we had meetings with um, all the agents and stuff like that and just me and her just sitting down talking and um, you know we I think we came to the right decision. You had that tweet the week before about passing the chain mm -hmm. and Jeremiah. Yeah uh, and I think that was very premature and and you know it's uh, I needed some more time to think about it because I didn't I didn't necessarily realize how big of a decision it was until you know, I sat down with my mom and, you know, I realized that I'm about to be in the real world. No more uh, scholarship and free meals and things like that. So 
uh, it was a bigger decision than I thought for. Theoretically, passing the chain on him, is he ready to kind of become the next you, so to speak? Um, I think so. He definitely still has a lot of work to do, but um, I think with the right mindset and the right summer uh, workout plan with Lou and everything like that, I think he'll be you know prime and ready when the season starts next year to be able to lead this defensive line and this defensive group as well.